and I was thinking, and I was thinking, wait a minute, it's Tuesday. I was thinking, it's t tomorrow's Wednesday. <laughs> I had kind of, I had thought I had, wait, I had, yeah, I had some time. I don't know why I was thinking. It was Monday, or I had a couple days to, to prepare. <laughs> Yeah, and 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 I know uh, I have a, I, I've got something really good. I I'm excited about it, and I just want to just want to open up in a word of prayer. Our Father, Your word is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our path. And they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall. Mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we just uh, thank you for your uh, written word, Father, and uh, how it's here for us to bless us, to give us knowledge and understanding, wisdom on on. Uh, what to say, wisdom on how to act, wisdom on how to be day in and day out in this life. You said that we'll have troubles in this life. Uh, troubles arise, but we can turn to your word and we can come to a good Bible-believing word, preaching, teaching church and, and learn more about your word to where we can stand on it and believe it and trust it and not just be hearers only and to deceive ourselves but to be doers of the word father so we thank you now father i ask you to anoint the hearer the ears of the hearer and anoint the tongue of the speaker anoint the tongue of the speaker with fresh oil a fresh anointing for the hearer and a fresh anointing for the speaker Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So if you have your Bible, let's open up, and I want to open up mine to 2 Timothy 1.7. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. 2 Timothy 1.7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, it was about in December of last year, <clears throat> and just a brief, a brief history about myself is I, I have worked here in Atlanta uh, since around 1999. I worked for a company in the fire protection business, as you all know, and I've stayed pretty steady in that business. It's been a, a good, steady uh, income for me and, and my family over the years as I've stuck with it and, wor and worked pretty hard. And I was now with, I was with the, co the company I was with before uh, for about 11 years. And this company just was just really good. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it was from the owner. Or, but they just really liked to use fear tactics. You know, and I think that's probably mostly true in a lot of a corporate America. Uh, and that's just, I think, throughout throughout the world, it's just, a, I think, you know, Satan is the god of this world. And so we're in it, and we deal, we have to deal with it. We have to deal with uh, fear tactics from the enemy. And while well, the enemy will use people. So whenever there's an assignment against us, uh, they'll use people. Uh, and, and so anyways, now, one of those fear tactics where you don't ever, you, if you ever leave this company, will probably come after you in a legal way. Because in, in our line of work, uh, there's a lot of legalities, things, and there's not, not, no competition agreements, things like that. And those types of things, had a, you know, would have a hold on me, you know, or want to cause me to not want to move forward and advance and find something better, you know, because I always wanted something better, something closer to home, something that wouldn't consume my life to where I could have a life, you know, and, 
enjoy and sp spend more time on things I enjoy, like coming to church, and being involved in my local church, and being able to serve and have a life and see my family more and be home more. <clears throat> well, with that company, it was really hard to do. And as a matter of fact, about four or five years ago, I had to come to make a decision. I had to, I had to decide, I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to pick God. I'm going to put him first above a career, above a job. And I didn't really realize I had, that was the choice that was laid before me, but I realize it now. I see that that's what it was to, to sacrifice, to be here on Wednesday nights and teach children's church on Wednesday nights. I mean, uh, my job would probably have liked me to focus more on doing an extra job that night or pulling, well, you know, make a couple more phone calls or, you know, make more revenue for the company where I wouldn't really have made much more hourly income, you know. Anyways, <clears throat> so uh, when I, I, I went ahead and found a new job, and uh, it was after asking the Lord in prayer, it was on a Wednesday night service here, and I had asked, asked the Lord, I need, a be I need a better job, a job that, that will allow me to and give me the, more of a freedom to have a lot of life, you know. So, long story short, and it's been a long story already. Uh, so I, you know, I I started I started the process, put a two week notice in, and they started to play dirty. And you know, and I just, you know, this is how it's going to go down. No, you, you know, we're it's going to. This is how it's going to go. You know, and they wanted to make me look bad, and and I, in fear try to get a hold of me and it was pretty bad and I get, I'd get pretty fearful and I was at home I had just been they had uh, I put a two-week notice in and they went ahead and cut me loose and I you know they had someone take me home and you know and all those fear tactics you know and just wanted to they just wanted to do me dirty and so I'm at home and and my mind's just going and going you know well, what if I'm not going to be rehirable now? Or what if this happens or that happens? And I, and I already have a new job. What if they don't want me now? Or they heard this or that? And, and uh, so I sat down and I ended up, <clears throat> I sat down and I just, I knew I just needed to turn to the Word. And this is what I wrote. I wrote this here. This is what I'm talking about tonight. And I, I had this huge sense of freedom, but at the same time, fear kept trying to, Get a hold of me. It was so overwhelming. I just pounding my head. I couldn't think straight. You know, I had been comfortable in this job for 11 years. It's all I knew, you know. And I'm at home, and I'm no longer employed there, and I'm in this two-week period between jobs. And, and, and so I just turned to the Word. And so 2 Timothy 1.7 God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So fear is a spirit. God has not given us the spirit of fear, an evil spirit. Fear has torment. So, you and I have the spirit of power. The Bible says, so say you do. So say so. And I remember sitting on my couch, and I, and I got, got a hold of this, and I just started saying, I have the spirit of power. I have the spirit of power. I have the spirit of power, and I, had to, and I kept saying it. And I kept saying it over and over. And all of a sudden, it was just like this. I could feel it. I could tangibly feel something lift because my mind was just was just getting battered like waves just battering a ship I used to be a sailor just waves used to used to cracking waves that's all we used to do just go and crack on the waves bam 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 and so you hit the wave so hard it just caused you to just jump and get airborne or hit a wall or slam your head against something get a you know cut your chin or 
And that's how I was in my mind. That's how I felt. It was that there was torment there. And I tangibly felt that just leave. Just like that. And that spirit of power arrested that spirit of fear. And when you now, and then go back to my notes here. And so when you confess it, it will begin to dominate you. And that's what was starting to happen. The word started dominating me, and the spirit of fear couldn't compete. It had to go. It had nowhere, it had to. Just the word of God is much more powerful than any evil force that we can come into contact in this with us in this world. So it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual thing. We, we, we could, I couldn't see it, but it was, it was something going on on the inside of me. I couldn't see it. Was visible. I couldn't see it. It was very real, though. Uh, so we've got the spirit of power and the spirit of fear. So, if, is, so fear is a spirit. So where does fear come from? It comes from the enemy. The spirit of power, it comes from God. <clears throat> so we have a spirit of power, uh, a spirit of love, and a sound mind. So I started to confess the spirit of power. I have the spirit of power. I have the spirit of power. And my mind became sound. I have the spirit of power. Love and a sound mind. My, I have a sound. I, my mind became sound. I had peace. It was tangible. I felt it. It was very real to me. And I would go on to say that love and a sound mind is a byproduct of the spirit of power. When we let the spirit of power dominate us, by our confession, I have the spirit of power. I have, no, I have the spirit of power. Whatever our case may be, my case at, at that time was uncertainty of my future or how my future would go with a new job and, and, and a, a whole new career path or going a whole nother direction. Uh, so, uh, you know, and a Mark, you know, Mark eleven twenty three and twenty four talks about all things. So when we're talking about, I'm confessing I have the spirit of power. Well, this can apply to any case that we're facing, any case that has come up in our lives. Okay, so now also, well, there's grace and favor. How about forgiveness, ability to forgive? Wrongs done to us. This takes God's power, not going to yield to fear any longer. <clears throat> I like to go to Romans 8, 38 and 39. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Romans 8, 38, and 39. Thank you for your word. Thank you for this opportunity, Father, to share this message that you gave me six months ago that I had no idea why or for what or when or where. Nothing shall separate you from the love of God. So I have a little commentary here by Rick Renner, or as Pastor John was talking about Rick Renner, I guess Pastor John and Janie were at a minister's conference and they got to hear him for the first time. They call him Greek, Greek Renner, Greek for, for, for Greek. This is his Greek commentary. Paul also mentions, well, let, first let me read Romans 8, 38 and 39. <clears throat> For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, 
nor other nor nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, Paul also mentions powers taken from the word dunamis, which is the Greek word that sometimes depicted the powerful governments of men. Certainly, Paul had been arrested, bound, and restricted by evil governments on many occasions. But none of those actions were ever sufficiently powerful to separate him from the love of God. A jail cell may have separated Paul from other believers. However, even in the deepest, darkest, most gruesome prison cell, Paul tangibly felt and personally experienced the love of God. So, in our darkest time, that was Paul's case. Paul had a case against him, and he was in prison for it. And it was a dark prison. But Paul tangibly felt and personally experienced the love of God. I can, I can relate to that. That day, I, I felt that way. I felt that I was imprisoned. It was in my mind, though. And when our mind gets sick, you can say, really, our minds can get sick. And when our minds are, I mean, when you get a stomach ache, you're just out of it. You know, I mean, you feel horrible. You don't want no one talking to you. I mean, you just, you know, uh, you just want to be alone. Or, But when our, mind, our minds can get sick, too. And uh, I felt, I, I tangibly felt, just like Paul tangibly felt in that prison cell, and personally experienced the love of God. The spirit of power and of love and a sound mind. The spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, second, I want to turn to 2 Timothy 2.1. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 2.1. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 2.1. Thou, okay, 2 Timothy 2.1. Thou therefore... My son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. I want to talk a little bit about that word strong. It's the Greek word endunamo, to be empowered or to be made strong. A compound, a compound of the words en and dunamis. En means in. Dunamis means explosive strength, ability, and power. It's where we get the word dynamite. And dunamo presents the picture of an explosive power being deposited into some type of container or vessel or some other form of receptacle. In this case, the destination of this power was Timothy. Hallelujah. And in my case on that afternoon in December, as I was just dropped off from my, my job and departed from that company, I, I experienced that power after experiencing that darkness, that prison in my mind. Hallelujah. Thank you for your word, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of power, for your spirit of love. <clears throat> Now I'd like to turn to Ephesians 6.10. General Electric Power Company. Jess Isle, General Electric Power Company. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Ephesians. 
Ephesians 6, 10. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Now, the word power is from the Greek word kratos here. The same word writers use to describe Hercules. So we have, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, or the kratos of his iskus. Iskus is another Greek word for might, which is the strength of God. Might, power, his strong arm of power. The same, very same power that created the heavens and the earth. The very same power that raised Jesus from the dead. That power is the power we're talking about here. Kratos' power is demonstrative. It's eruptive and tangible. Hallelujah. The power that is working behind the scenes to energize us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. The power that God used Here's my notes again. When he raised Jesus from the dead is the same exact identical power that is now at work in us. That means we have resurrection power working in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. I guess I, we could call this, I was thinking on the way here, if you've got victory, do you have it? Or turn to the Word for your victory. And uh, we, could, we could say this for, for healing. So I want to turn to the Word for healing. And uh, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 15, 26. Your days shall be 120 years. Genesis 6, 3. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 15, 26. Your days shall be 120 years. Genesis 6, Genesis 6 3. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a copy of this and leave it out back at the counter. Don't, so don't 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 write it down if you don't want to. But if you'd like to, you can write jot it down. But uh, you shall be buried in a good old age. Genesis fifteen fifteen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So uh, you shall come to your grave in a full age, like as a shock of corn cometh in his season. Job five twenty six. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. Exodus 12, 13. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we turn to the word when we need healing. Hallelujah. We turn to the word. And I confess the word. Just like I confessed, I had the spirit of power. Hallelujah. No longer did fear have any control over me. I got the victory because I turned to the word, hallelujah, and the word has power, hallelujah, and that power set me free that day, hallelujah, hallelujah, when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you, Exodus 12, 13, I will take sickness away from the midst of you, and the number of your days I will fulfill, Exodus 23, 25, and 26, again, I'm going to make a copy of this. And put it out back. I will not put any of the diseases you're afraid of on you. But I will take all sickness away from you. That totally dismisses the theory that God puts sicknesses on people. Because he said, he said it right here in Deuteronomy 8.15, I will not put any of the diseases you are afraid of on you. But I will take all sickness away from you. God says he won't put it on you. He'll take it away from you. So where, what does that say? Where does sickness come from? It comes from the enemy. Where does fear come from? The enemy. 
<clears throat> it will be well with you, and your days shall be multiplied and prolonged as the days of heaven upon the earth. Deuteronomy 11, 9 and 21. I turned the curse into a blessing unto you because I loved you. Deuteronomy 23.5 and Nehemiah 13.2 I have redeemed you from every sickness and every plague. Deuteronomy 28.61 and Galatians 3.13 As your days, so shall your strength be. Deuteronomy 33.25 Hallelujah. 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 I had, a, I had a little spot on my skin this week. And it just, I had realized it had been there for a while. And, and then, you know, it, the thoughts started coming to me. You know, skin cancer. Here they come, you know. Yeah. And so I was putting hydrogen peroxide on it, you know, and dosing it and dosing it. Uh, but it was just another opportunity to turn to the Word. Hallelujah. I started reading these, what I'm reading to you now, I just started reading them, saying them out loud. Hallelujah. I, and I, you know, I put some hydrogen peroxide on it too. It all bubbled up. <laughs> you know, I don't know, something was going on there. But it's healing up, amen. Hallelujah. Uh, I have redeemed you from every sickness and every plague. I have healed you and brought you, <clears throat> I have healed you and brought up your soul from the grave. I have kept you alive from going down into the pit. Psalms 30, 1 and 2. I will give you strength and bless you with peace. Psalms 29, 11. Hallelujah. I will preserve you and keep you alive. Hallelujah. Psalms 41, 2. I will strengthen you upon the bed of languishing. I will turn all your bed in your sickness. Psalms 41, 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am the health of your count. <clears throat> I am the health of your countenance and your God. Psalms 43, 5. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. No plague shall come near your dwelling. Psalm 91, 10. I will satisfy you with long life. Psalm 91, 16. Hallelujah. I heal all your diseases. Psalms 103, 3. Diseases. Dis-ease. That word diseases is dis-ease. I heal all your dis-ease. Amen? 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 I sent my word and healed you and delivered you from your destruction. Psalms 107.20 You shall not die, but live. And declare my works. Psalms 118.17 I heal your broken heart and bind up your wounds. Psalms 147.3 the years of your life shall be many. Proverbs 4.10 Trusting me brings health to your navel and marrow to your bones. Proverbs 3.8 My words are life to you and health, medicine to all your flesh. Proverbs 4.22 My good report makes your bones fat. Proverbs 15.30 my pleasant words are sweet to your soul and health to your bones. Proverbs 16, 24. My joy is your strength. A merry heart does good like a medicine. Nehemiah 8, 10 and Proverbs 17, 22. The eyes of a blind shall be opened. The eyes of them that see shall not be dim. Isaiah 32, 3, 35, 5. Your ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. The ears of them that hear shall hearken. Isaiah 32, 3 and 35, 5. The tongue of the dumb shall sing. The tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. Hallelujah. Isaiah 35, 6 and 32, 4. Hallelujah. How, how, how many know God is, isn't a respecter of persons? If he said this, if he said this 2,000, 4,000 years ago, it'll, he's saying it to me right now. He's saying it to us. Hallelujah. The ears, <clears throat> the lame man shall leap as an, as an heart. The lame, sh <laughs> the lame man shall leap as an heart. Isaiah 35, 6. I know these are King James, by the way. I'm usually, usually used to New King James. Uh, the lame man shall leap as an 
heart. Isaiah 35, 6. I will recover you and make you live. I am ready to save you. Isaiah 38, 16 and 20. I give power to the faint. I increase strength to them that have no might. Isaiah 40, 29. I will renew your strength. I will strengthen you and help you. Isaiah 40, 31 and 41, 10. To your, is this new king, is this King James? It doesn't say. Anyways, I'm reading from Christ the Healer. And the teacher was Keith Moore. <clears throat> These statements are taken directly from the Bible with little or no variation. The verbs and construct construction have been changed to apply to you personally and to sum up the thoughts in some instances. Also, many of these statements are prefaced by phrases like, if you walk in my commandments, if you believe, obey, etc. So what did God say? 101 things God said. Old Testament. It's all Old Testament. And he was going on to say here, remember that God is no respecter of persons and he never changes. That's Acts 10.34 and Malachi 3.6. So what he said to them yesterday, he's saying to you today, God's word is God speaking to me. How do we know whether it's God's will to heal us or not? It makes little difference what others say about it. What did he say about it? To your old age and gray hairs, I will carry you and I will deliver you. Isaiah 46, 4. I bore your sickness. Isaiah 53, 4. I carried your pains. Isaiah 43, 4. I was put to sickness for you. Isaiah 53, 10. My, with my stripes, you are healed. Isaiah 53, 10. With my stripes, you are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. I will heal you. Isaiah 57, 19, your light shall break forth as in the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily. Isaiah 58, 8, I will restore health unto you, and I will heal you of your wounds, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17, behold, I will bring it health and a cure, and I will cure you, and will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. Jeremiah 33, 6. I will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. Hallelujah. Ha, thank you, Father. You know, you know the, our, faith, our, faith can, our, our faith can't cannot go beyond our understanding of the Word. Our faith can't reach beyond our understanding of the Word of God. Hallelujah. Behold, I will bring it health and a cure, and I will cure you, and it will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. I will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. Ezekiel 34, 16. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live, and I shall put my spirit into you, and you shall live. Ezekiel 37, 5 and 14. Whithersoever the rivers shall come shall live. They shall be healed and everything shall live where the river comes. Ezekiel 47, 9. Seek me and you shall live. Amos 5, 4, and 6. I have arisen with healing in my wings. Malachi 4, 2. I will be thou clean. Matthew 8, 3. I took your infirmities. Matthew 8, 17. I bore your sicknesses, Matthew 8, 17. If you're sick, you need a physician. I am the Lord your physician, Matthew 9, 12, and Exodus 15, 26. I am moved with compassion toward the sick, and I heal them, Matthew 14, 14. I heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease, Matthew 4, 23. According to your faith, be it unto you. Matthew 9, 29. I give you power and authority over, over all unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. I heal them all. Matthew 
12, 15, Hebrews 13, 8. As many as touch me are made perfectly whole. That's Matthew 14, 36. Healing is the children's bread, Matthew 15, 26. So when I need healing, hallelujah, I go to that cupboard and I grab some bread. I go to my pantry, hallelujah, and get some bread, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. That spiritual pantry, that's right. That spiritual bread, hallelujah. I do all things well. I make the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. Mark 7, 37. If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. That's Mark 9, 23, 11, 23, 24. Hallelujah. If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Hallelujah. When hands are laid on you, you shall recover. Mark 16, 18. Thank you for your word, Father. Hallelujah. My anointing heals the brokenhearted and delivers the captives, recovers sight to the blind, and sets at liberty those that are bruised. That's Luke 4.18. That's Isaiah 10.27 and 61.1. I heal all those who have need of healing. Luke 9.11. I am not come to destroy men's lives but to save them that's Luke 9 56 I am not come to destroy men's lives but to save them Luke 9 56 behold I give you authority over all the enemy's power hallelujah and nothing shall by any means hurt you hallelujah hallelujah Luke 10 that's Luke 10 19 amen hallelujah sickness is a satanic bondage. And you ought to be loose today. Amen. That's Luke 13, 16. And 2 Corinthians 6, 2. Again, I'm going to make copies of this. And set it out in the foyer. In me is life. John 1, 4. I am the bread of life. I give you life. That's John 6, 33 and 35. Hallelujah. We're turning to the word. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about you, but every, it's like every day, almost every day now, uh, there's something I can you know, stand in faith for, for my body, for something. If it's just running my three miles or, you know, God's Word is just, will just work. Hallelujah. Uh, I am the bread of life. I give you life. John 6, 33 and 35. The words I speak unto you are spirit and life. Hallelujah. John 6, 63. I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. John 10, 10. Thank you, Father. I am the resurrection and the life. John eleven twenty five. 25. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. I asked for a new job. I asked for a new job for my wife. Hallelujah. It was in line with God's Word. It was a desire of my heart. Pastor John asked if we had a prayer request that night. I, I did. It, you know, I was desiring a, a job that would allow me to focus more on the Word. Hallelujah. And, and a job for my wife to where she didn't have to be so stressed out. Hallelujah. If none of, none of you know, she got a new job. And it's so much less stress. It's just, I've seen it. I just you could see it. You can see it on her. It's awesome. Hallelujah. So if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Hallelujah. That's, <laughs> amen. I'm, I'm just excited. I'm, I see it. I saw it happen. Hallelujah. That's like, it took me 11 years. But, well, no, I liked that job the first three years, four years. But it took me about six after I couldn't stand it anymore <laughs> to, to realize like, all I had to do was ask God, ask Father God. So all I had to do was just ask Father. Hallelujah. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. John, that's John, that's John 14, 14. Faith in my name makes you strong. Faith in my name makes you strong and gives you perfect soundness. Hallelujah. That's Acts 
3.16. Here's Acts 4.30. I stretch forth my hand to heal. I, now here's Acts 9.34. I, Jesus Christ, make you whole. Here's Acts 19.12. My power causes disease to depart from you. Hallelujah. Acts 19.12 says my power causes diseases to depart from you. The law, hallelujah. I know there's been some things going on in my body. I know there have. I know they've departed too. Hallelujah. I, me and Janice, we, we lost our health care. We don't have it no more. But I got health care. Hallelujah. I've got it right here. Amen. Hallelujah. Now there's nothing wrong with health care. Don't get me wrong. It's good to have. And we're looking for some. And we're going to get some. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I stretch forth my hand. I just said that. So this, <clears throat> the, the, <clears throat> my power causes the d disease to depart from you. Hallelujah. So there we have it. If we don't have health care, we've got the power. Hallelujah. Dunamis power of God. That Kratos power. Iskus power. Iskus. I-S-C-O-U-S. I didn't write that one down. but <clears throat> Hallelujah. Dunamis. Hallelujah. That same spirit that raised me from the dead now lives in you. And that spirit will quicken your mortal bodies. Romans 8.11. I like that. That same spirit that raised me from the dead now lives in you. We just, we just talked about that. And that spirit will quicken. Well, that was one of my scriptures from, from my lesson. That spirit will quicken your mortal body. Hallelujah. I can't think of where it's at, but it says the spirit of man will sustain him. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Your body is a member of me. 1 Corinthians 6.15 Your body is the temple of my spirit and you're to glorify me in your body. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 6.19 and 20 Hallelujah. 15 more to go. If, you're, if you'll rightly discern my body which was broken for you and judge yourself, you'll not be judged and you'll, you'll not be weak, sickly or die prematurely. Hallelujah. That's 1 Corinthians 11, 29, and 31. Hallelujah. I have set gifts of healing in my body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 12, 9. Hallelujah. Whew. Hallelujah. We're going to come back to that one after these few more. Hallelujah. I have set gifts of healing in my body. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 12, 9. We're going to come back to that. I, my life may be made manifest in your mortal flesh. 2 Corinthians 4, 10 and 11. Here's 2 Corinthians 1, 10. I have delivered you from death. I do deliver you. And if you trust me, I will deliver you. Hallelujah. Our prayer, hallelujah. Our prayer for, for our case, our prayer depends more on us than it does God. Hallelujah. Our prayer depends more upon us. Hallelujah. I have delivered you from death. I do deliver you. And if you trust me, I will yet deliver you. Hallelujah. I have given you my name and have put all things under your feet. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1.21 and verse 22. Here's Ephesians 6.3. I want it to be well with you, and I want you to live long on the earth. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6.3. Yes, Father. I have delivered you from the authority of darkness. Colossians 1.13. Here's 2, Tim, 2 Timothy 4.18. I will deliver you from every evil work. I taste... I'm not going to read the scripture... The Reference, I'm just going to read the, the verse. I will deliver you from every evil work. I taste a death for you. I destroyed the devil who had the power of death. I've delivered you from the fear of death and bondage. That's because we say, I, don't, I have the spirit of power. I have the spirit of power. I have the spirit of power. It, the, 
depends upon us, upon our confession. It, it does. It, 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 it's a responsible gospel. We have a side to do. We have our side to do. We have to do our side. Hallelujah. I tasted death for you. I destroyed the devil who had the power of death. I've delivered you from the fear of death and bondage. Hallelujah. I washed your body with pure water. Lift up the weak hands and the feeble knees. Don't let that which is lame be turned aside, but rather let me heal it. Let the elders anoint you and pray for you in my name, and I will raise you up. Pray for one another, and I will heal you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By my stripes you were healed. That's 1 Peter 2.24. My divine power has given unto you all sick. My divine power has given unto you all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of me. Whosoever will let him come and take of the water of life freely. Whosoever will, whosoever will let him come and take of the water of life freely. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may be in health. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So, I have set gifts of healing in my body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First, that's 1 Corinthians 12.9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Yes, sir. I, I have... I was... Uh, I don't know how many years ago is now. How many years ago is now? How many years ago it was now? Uh, where I I received the gift, the gift of healing, the ministry, a healing ministry, and I was just as simple as raising my hands, and I received that gift, and I just, I just right now I just, I just thank the Lord. I, I thank I thank you, Father, for that for that uh, awesome responsibility of a ministry healing, a healing ministry. And I know you told me last night that today could be the the beginning of that ministry. And I know I've uh, in times past I've I've been able to operate in that gift at, as the Spirit wills. <clears throat> but I I know. I know, Father, that that you're uh, you're calling me to that to minister to that ministry of healing, that healing ministry. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So I have set the gifts of healing in my body. So there is the gifts of healing. Hallelujah, or that office of ministry, healing ministry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Now I'm called now I'm called here to this church. Hallelujah. I'm called here to operate in the ministry of helps. Hallelujah. To help and serve in the ministry, you know. And I love it. I'm so glad I I chose to do that and and made a decision to do that. Hallelujah. And and uh, it's good to desire, the Word says to desire the gifts of the Spirit, the spiritual gifts. It's good to desire the ministry gifts. I, want, I desire to sit and to operate in the gift of teaching. Hallelujah. I want to be a teacher. I, want to, I desire that gift. Hallelujah. So, uh, I just take, I just take this, this, this chance, this opportunity, and I just... Thank you. Thank the Lord for this for this time tonight. To begin to start, to start to begin, to begin to start. <laughs> to desire the these gifts, to desire the, the greater gifts. Hallelujah. You know, you can walk, I heard you can walk in all five ministry gifts. You can teacher, preacher, apostle, prophet, hallelujah. There's one more. Someone, someone thinks of it. Pastor. <laughs> Miracles, I think, is one. Discerning spirits. Hallelujah. I'd just like to start with maybe just teaching. 
Hallelujah. I'd like to sit in that. I do. I would. That's a desire of mine to may, maybe even have a paid position where you're just a teacher of the word. Hallelujah. That'd be awesome. To work for the Lord, to work in the ministry full time. That that's I I think I think Pastor Janie said that one time that or you know the best day or your worst day is better than you know working in the world is you know or your worst day in ministry is better than your worst day of working in the world you know Hallelujah 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 Thank you Father Yes sir Hallelujah Hallelujah Thank you Father Bless your name. Well, I just, I'm just led, I, I just led to, you know, if, if anyone, if it's just, if anyone would just like uh, to, for me just to come, just lay my hands on you, just where you're at, just, you know, just give me a nod, let me know. I mean, because, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a healing, the ministry of healing, and I received it from heaven, I know I did. So I just want to lay my hands on anyone that, you know, just give me a nod, whatever. I'll just, well, I don't think I'll just go, go ahead and lay my hands on everybody anyways. And, uh, but I just feel, I'm impressed. I'm impressed in my heart to know that if there's anything, go, whatever's going on in any of us, we're going to get our healing. We're going to get it right here in the Word. Hallelujah. And we, I mean, we, you can get, people can get their healing, but I'd say about 50%, Brother Hagen teaches about 50% of people get their healing from the ministry, the gift of healing, the, the gifts of healing, that ministry. But 100%, hallelujah, get their healing from their church, from coming to their church Sunday and Wednesday and every time the doors open and they, and they get this word in them, hallelujah. And not just then, but hallelujah, when they go home on Monday or Sunday night even. Hallelujah. Hungry for the word. Hungry for the word. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I guarantee you, Pastor John would love a church full of hungry people. Hungry people. Hallelujah. I want, I've, got, I've had a hunger for the word. I mean, maybe that's why Pastor John called me. I don't know. I've had a hunger. I've been hungry for the Word. I've been, I've been in the Word every night, listening to it, reading it. I keep it with me. And it's, it wasn't it. Jeremiah says to, don't let it depart from you. Day and night. I have, I've, had this, I've had this basically in my hand for about a month. I don't really let it. I mean, not every minute. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but pretty much all the time. If I leave it in the, you know, I get home from work. You just like to get out and go in and get some supper. You, you don't want to think of everything in your work vehicle to grab, to take in with you, to go into, your, into the house. You know, you just want to get out and go. But, but I'll sometimes go back to my truck and grab this out and have it at night, too. And i got to be careful when I'm driving. <laughs> don't need no red lights. Catching a red light or running a red light. <clears throat> but... Uh, you know, I don't feel any I don't feel anything in my hands right now, but I just I just know I'm supposed to go and just just lay my hand on all y'all. And it's just, you know, it's just that ministry, the gift of healing. Hallelujah. It's a dose, hallelujah. A dose of healing. Hallelujah. The law of contact and transmission. Hallelujah. So when I lay my hands on you, whatever you're believing God for, if there's a symptom, a disease, <laughs> a spot. I don't, a discomfort, a dissy, whatever, hallelujah. That power coming straight from this receptacle, hallelujah. Amen? It's just, this is just a receptacle, hallelujah, but it's got to go through something, hallelujah. So I just want to lay my hand, it's about close to 8 o'clock. Yeah, I just do like this. Thank you, Father, hallelujah. Yeah, that's it. Now that's tangible, hallelujah. I feel that, and that, that's, I love it when you can feel the anointing. Now, that's a fresh dose of a fresh anointing. Hallelujah. That's fresh oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's fresh. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. O sundariaka la raba sodiriaka sundiria. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. That's it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hallelujah. I'm just going to go behind Jack, James and Jackie, just like this. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes. You said you set the gifts of healing in the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, that's right. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 I am the Lord that healeth thee. Hallelujah. Ex Exodus 15, 26. Hallelujah. You will be buried in a good old age. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your days will be 120 years. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yesiria kasundolo bo shukundoria. Yesiria bakandaria. Hallelujah. We praise you, Father, for which the devil hates. We give you praise. Holy One, for which the devil hates. We'll praise you in the midnight. We'll praise you in the noonday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we'll turn to your word and we'll receive the victory every day. Hallelujah. Today is the day we choose to serve you today and every day. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, that's right. It's your word. Hallelujah. We turn to your word and we get the victory. And we'll have the victory. That's right. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Father. We will celebrate. Hallelujah. Celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. That's the prophetic. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. That's the anointing right there. The anointing. Hallelujah. You will anoint us now and then to prophesy. I may not sit in the office of prophet, but you have anointed me to prophet. Prophesy now that we will celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. So I prophesy. James and Jackie. Hallelujah. I prophesy many coming to the Lord. Hallelujah. Many seeing their victory, hallelujah. Their victory is an encouragement, hallelujah. A witness, hallelujah. A vital part to this ministry for the growth of this ministry and the vitality of this ministry, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, hallelujah. Glory to your name, yes, Lord. Praise you for your word, praise you for... Your power, hallelujah, that's operating, hallelujah. And it's in each other, and it's one for another. And it's the support to each other, hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. It's almost 8 o'clock. Hallelujah. For whatever you need, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The law of contact and transmission. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, for that thing that was wrought in your body, that thing, that thing that tries to talk to you, I don't have to figure out what it is. I don't have to name it. I don't have to... All I have to do is lay my hands. That's all I have to do. He said, lay your hands on the sick and they will recover. Come out of her. Come out of her, you spirit of infirmity. Go from her. In Jesus' name. 
the word says that they use the name of Jesus and hallelujah, we'll model our ministry after theirs. We'll use the name of Jesus. So in the name of Jesus, come out of her. Now, body, begin to mend. Hallelujah. And be made whole. Hallelujah. And recover. Hallelujah. Symptoms reside. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. 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 Now in about a week or two, testify to that. Testify to that. Hallelujah. Thank you for my brother Lane. Hallelujah. Just bless him now, Father. With your fresh anointing. Hallelujah. And a healing for whatever he needs healing. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for my brother Lane. My Hallelujah. He's a strength to many. Hallelujah. When he walks into the room, the room is enlightened. Hallelujah. When he walks into a Walmart, a Home Depot, or he walks on the job site. Wherever he goes, he's a light walker. He's a light bearer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, have some of those tracks. Keep them in your pocket. I, I want... People are looking to you. I, I bring people to you. Hand them something. Give them something, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 People are drawn to you. Hallelujah. I have some. I have some, says the Lord. I have some. I have some for you to, to minister to. Hallelujah. But now receive. Hallelujah. Receive. Yes. Receive what you need. Hallelujah. Bless you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And I pray for Lane's family, father, his wife, his daughter, and the rest of his immediate family, father. I pray for family relationships to be strengthened, mended if need mending. Hallelujah. A closeness, hallelujah, like never before. A closeness like never before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Restore that which may have been lost. A, res a restoration is coming to the Whitfields. Hallelujah. Financially. Hallelujah. F spiritually. Hallelujah. Emotionally. Physically. Financially. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's something more. Hallelujah. Something more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. My brother Lance. Just hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, there it is. Hallelujah. Yeah, fresh anointing. Fresh oil. Hallelujah. The next step. That's it. The next step. Hallelujah. Fresh, 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 fresh. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's going to reveal some things to you. Hallelujah. In the, in the, in the nights to follow. In the hours to come. Soon. Very suddenly hallelujah yeah hallelujah thank you father and it's just, just little things just little things it's not major rash things you can do something major just little things it's going to cause improvements here a cause an improvement there and it's just going to cause everything just to rapidly grow and rapidly increase hallelujah thank you thank you father 
Well, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, I just want to close with, I love (laughs) y'all. Thank you for this opportunity, Pastor John. (laughs) Hallelujah. Exciting. I know we got to close. I got to go. We got to go. I know it's past 8 o'clock. But I just have an impressed on my heart and the Holy Spirit reminded me that he's, he's anointed all of us to witness. We all have that. When we got born again, we just, we just started going to tell everybody. <laughs> and if we weren't telling them, they could tell anyways. It's got to, you know, we got to get that back, you know. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, it's, it's the word that gets on us. It just, we don't have to, really, I don't think we have to do much. We just, we just be, be being filled. As Brother Hagen always said, be, be, be being filled. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father, for, for your word, and we love you. Bless us as we go, and uh, opportunities to come, Father. Uh, I I just uh, I'm just excited. I, I did talk to someone today. Uh, his name's Jed, and I wrote him down. Does anyone? Just a quick testimony. Hallelujah. It's just it's just a testimony of Hallelujah, Brother Hagen always always taught he, he just being you know being led by the Holy Spirit hallelujah hallelujah I met Jed today not Jed from the hillbilly hill, hill, what's that show the Beverly Hillbillies he said remember the Be- Beverly Hillbillies and you remember my name Jed two days ago he was dead he died two days ago <laughs> Oh, that's not funny, I know. Well, he was kind of, uh, and I was at a job site working, you know, and he just reached out. He said, hey, how you doing? He was across a fence, you know, with barbed wire, and I was at Heritage Propane, you know. It's, you know, highly guarded, and he's at the other side of the fence. And I just had to share this testimony real fast. But I'm just excited about it. But we prayed. Long story short, and he was born again. Amen. So I got one today. I got my soul goal one a day, right? <laughs> I got, it's been a couple. It's been a few, <laughs> a few days. But I'm starting to see that as we turn to the Word, that light, it's like light. It gets on us, and it's attractive to people. People are attracted to us, you know. So I'm excited about tomorrow now. I'm just pumped. I'm ready. <laughs> I, want to, I want to meet somebody else that, you know, if, you know, and it's right. But it needs to be the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will lead and show us. We don't need to, I don't think we need to force it, you know. So, yeah, he'll guide us. It'll just, we'll just know. It'll work out, you know. So everyone, just keep, if you don't mind, in your prayer time, if you remember Jed, because I, I gave Jed the, 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 the info to the church, and I really think he's going to show. I really think he will. But if not, uh, I know there's no if in the word. There's no if allowed, I know. <laughs> I, uh, but um, hallelujah. I'm excited about a soul today. So I just had to share that. That's a testimony. Does anyone else have a quick testimony? Anything?